For today's DIY, we're gonna do something inexpensive and quick. We picked up this utensil caddies at Ikea. They were $2.99 a piece, and Zeb's gonna post the link below because you can order them online. Um, you can also find similar things at the dollar store or at Walmart. These are metal, I already sprayed the inside and I'm going to spray the outside with this Rust-Oleum paint. It's a matte black. I like Rust-Oleum because I feel like it doesn't drip as much as the other ones. It's my favorite spray paint. Okay, so I am gonna be painting over the top of this spray paint. This is just to give me a dark undercoat. So if it's not perfect, it's no big deal because I'm gonna be milk painting over the spray paint. All right, so the spray paint is dry. I took my sample of old olive and I mixed it up in this old spaghetti jar here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started painting. I'm using my Paint Pixie brush in a number eight. You can pick up this paint as well as this brush on my website, jamierayvintage.com. Zeb will put the link below. I didn't add any extra bond, so I'm hoping it doesn't all chip off. A milk paint adheres really well to metal why I chose this. Oops. Here's a tip, don't paint the top and then you'll have something to hold on to that's not painted. All right, so they're all dry and a little bit has already started chipping off and it looks like it's going straight down to the metal. Let me see if I can find a spot. So it chipped, but it chipped down to the metal instead of just to the spray paint. So maybe the black spray paint did not do what I wanted. But we'll see, we're gonna sand it. All right, so that didn't do what I want. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this damp rag and pull off some of this paint. And it's taking, some places it's going chipping down to the metal, but in a lot of places it's taking you just to the black, which is what I wanted. And when I distress, I like to distress this way when I'm wet distressing and then the other way. So it just kind of gives it some bigger spots, less streaky. All right, so I'm just gonna take my 220 and just lightly kind of soften it. And it'll also take off like any chunks in case you're like me and you don't paint super awesome. I'm using my two inch palm brush and I shouldn't be dipping into it, but I'm mostly done with this big top anyways. And I'm just gonna put big top on here because if this is going in a kitchen, it needs to be um, water soluble, uh, like waterproof. So you wanna seal that paint on there. Our utensil caddies are complete. You could use them for utensils. I've got some flowers arranged and then I actually purchased these flowers at Ikea. You could also put, um, if you painted them like a chippy white, it would be really cute to put that Ikea greenery in the top too. Those fit in perfectly. You could also, another idea for these, which we thought would be fun, is because there's a hole like smack dab in the middle, you could put one of those hanging light bulbs and use this as a light fixture. And it would be a really inexpensive light fixture. So many possibilities, such a simple craft. I used um, not quite all of the samples, so if you're gonna do this, maybe have a few picture frames or don't quite mix it all up because I had about that much of the sample paint left over in O Olive. And then um, I used just a dab of this. I do suggest that you pour a little bit out like in a throwaway container because you don't wanna, like this is now all contaminated. I'm only gonna seal it with green things because I got a little bit of green paint in my big top. If you want to pick up Big Top or Old Olive or the brushes I used today, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Comment below with any questions you have on the milk paint that I used. And be sure to subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.